Hey everyone, it's another great round of phone battles here featuring the best phones from Google and Sony. So we got the Google Pixel XL and the Sony Xperia XDS. And powering both phones on. So yeah guys, different setup for this week. Uh, let me know what you think of this outdoor setup. I think a little bit more interesting than normal setup obviously, but maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit more distracting as well. All right, so both these phones, 40 bytes of RAM. Now, you do a better processor on Google, Snapdragon 21, uh, Snapdragon 20 on the Sony. And Google first one to boot up by a couple of seconds. All right, everyone, so quick look at design of the phones. So you got a slightly larger screen on Google, 5.5 inches, 5.2 for the Sony. Also, high resolution on Google, 534 pixels per inch. And on the Sony, you have 424. Front facing cam on Google is 8 megapixels on the Sony is 13. Look at the bottom, so USB C on both. And the side, you see the uh, fingerprint scanner on the Sony. And then the top, so both phones' headphone jacks there. The other side. And the back. So on the Sony, you have all metal back. And a Google Glass and metal. So half and half. And then fingerprint scanner right here on the Google, not a fan of placement. And you have one camera, 12 megapixels on the Sony of 1 at 19. And both phones are on the maximum brightness, so good way to see the screens outside. Alright, so everything closed down on both, as you guys just saw. First up, we got Temple Run 2. Alright everyone, so unfortunately, like the HTC Ultra, Wi-Fi access does not work out here. I'm um, not getting for either one. I'll try one more app, but don't think it's going to work. And did try reconnecting, so yeah, we're going to go inside. Alright everyone, so as you guys saw, a little too far away from the Wi-Fi network's going indoors. But as you guys see, it didn't close down. Uh, and we're going to start with Dump Run 2. So this should be a slight advantage here for the Pixel at Snapdragon 21. And yeah, it looks like the pixel is going to take this one by about a second or so. Let's go and test out more of the basic app, so. Alright, so next up we got NBC News. And I think that was Sony. iFunny next. Again, maybe a slight advantage there for Sony, but pretty close. YouTube. Alright, so Sony there. Calculator clock should be pretty close. And clock. All right, so next up we got eBay. Sony there. Uh, as for later, second game. Now, Xperia should win as for eight, just because I did do a practice before filming it, um, which is interesting. Now, I know some people say that with Google, uh, the Pixel is not fully utilizing the Snapdragon 21, as you guys see there. Uh, that they are down clocking it to the uh, Snapdragon 20, which would make sense. Alright, so a few more to go, then moving on to more stuff. So we got photos next. Pixel there. Uh, so next up we got ESPN. And waiting for the ad to load up. All right, so load up first on the Sony. And let's see, settings next. I think that may have been Pixel. 
All right, guys, supporting app opening, I think, pretty close. I think maybe Sony one by one or two. Next up, we got a two benchmark. So as I was mentioning, uh, with the down clock and other pixel, you see 144,000 for the pixel, 153,000 for the Sony. Uh, you know, it doesn't really make sense because Snapdragon 21 versus 20. But nonetheless, those are the scores. I think so far, reflect a little bit in what we're actually seeing in real world use. All right, so next up, we got Chrome. All right, everyone, just going to a few websites. Let's use Zelda.com first. So it's going to be pretty close. I think that may have been time. Let's see Nintendo next. Alright, so you see the Sony here. Let's do IMDb. So again, you see Sony here. And then last, let's go and do Yahoo. Yahoo.com. All right, so again, looks like Sony here. Oh, wow, more trouble for United. <laughs> and, all right, so next up, testing out the camera speed. And just got this cactus here, gonna keep it in focus. Now remember, on a Sony, you do a primary pixel camera, 19 versus 12. So let's see if it impacts things. Looks like the pixel will be fasting pictures. Although, as you guys saw, some exceptions. Now, we'll have an actual comparison on my channel later. But for now, just know, we'll be fasting pictures there for the pixel. All right, everyone, so what about if you want to see? We got multitasking. And before that, let's round off the specs real quick. So again, you do got a larger screen on Pixel, 5.5 inches, 5.2 for Sony. High resolution cameras on the Sony, 13 megapixels front facing versus eight for the Pixel. Uh, rear facing on the Sony is 19 versus 12 for the Pixel. In terms of internal storage, so on the Pixel, 32, 120 gigabytes. On the Sony, 32 or 64. Now, Sony does a micro SD card support, Pixel is not. Battery size on the Pixel, definitely an advantage, 3450 capacity. Also find it's better battery overall, uh, 2900 capacity for the Sony. Snapdragon 21 and 40 RAM for the Pixel, Snapdragon 20 and 4 for the Sony. Now, Sony does have stereo front facing speakers and waterproofing, which Pixel is not. Um, again, both fingerprint scanners, both USB-C. And the most it covers it, so let's get started. So, temper on two first. All right, so you see here, good sign for the Sony not reloading it. But as you guys see on the Pixel, is reloading the game. So yeah, Sony, they've really improved their uh, multitasking here. All right, let's check out some more. So next up, Emmy's News. All right, so it looks like both still, all right, so it looks like Pixel is Sony still refreshing there. Next up, iFunny. All right, so Sony there. You do. All right, so Pixel there, Sony still refreshing. And we'll do a few more. So eBay next. Sony there. Uh, let's do Asphalt 8, second game. All right, so once again, you see here on the Pixel is refreshing the app completely. On the Sony, you're on the title screen. And I'm gonna give my final thoughts on the phones in a minute, but let's just do a couple more. Let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do Chrome. All right, so maybe a very slight advantage there for the Sony, but pretty close. And last one. 
Let's do, let's bring back up the camera app. All right, so I think that may have been the pixel for the camera, but overall for the multitasking does go to Sony. All right, everyone, so overall I think pretty close test, but slight advantage for the Sony. Um, I think with the multitasking, did put it over the edge a little bit. Now, in terms of which of these phones I prefer, obviously you can tell they're both very fast phones. Now, the Pixel does have some advantages. For example, you get those day one upgrades. Sony, they're actually pretty good with providing updates, so you're not gonna, uh, not gonna have to wait that long for Sony, but still, you're not getting it day one like you would on Pixel. Now, in terms of which one I prefer, it is the Sony, um, and that's for a few reasons. So, one of them is the cameras, like both the front and rear facing cameras more, uh, especially for videos for the rear facing. Also, you have micro SD card support on the Sony, um as you guys saw a little bit faster phone overall you got the waterproofing but that's not to say the pixel doesn't have advantages as well as mentioned does have those day one updates and the battery's definitely better on the pixel as well all right everyone thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe by clicking up here in the top left corner or you can press the bottom right corner to see another video I do have a lot more speed test comparisons planned especially with the galaxy s8 and the sony xperia xc premium here coming in the next few weeks all right guys so thanks again for watching